Hello and welcome to this week's PCR. Today we're talking about the fan of cards. These chips were available through Apache Poker Chips as a stock poker chip set. Look for the link in the description. These are no longer being manufactured. I'm taking some liberties here in season three of the Great Poker Chip Adventure and showing some chips that are no longer in production. Just some old chips you will find on the secondhand market. Sometimes they'll have some new ones left over and you may be able to find a nice set of these. They're micro stakes cash set. And these are, this is the sample set right here. So it's a couple of quality issues. Uh, number one, as far as the mold goes, it's a reverse hat and cane with no edge spots, just a plain poker chip, right? Plain colors, obviously built for the budget-minded micro stakes crowd. And you can see just pulse and quality all the way around. Now, quality, we want to discuss two things about these chips that seem to be a discussion amongst poker chip enthusiasts that, you know, the most exciting people on the planet. First is the mold. Okay. So looking here, let's uh, choose a different color just for some variety here. So looking here, you can see there's a reverse hat and cane mold. And I might as well discuss the difference between reverse hat and cane, but real quick before I jump into it, what you're looking for is the little edge right here where the hat is really close to the edge. And so there's a little lip right here that is easy to break. Oh no, oh dear, what are we ever going to do? It's gonna wear out. Yeah, that's one of the concerns, okay? So here is another reverse hat and cane. This one is used, broken in Grand Victoria chip. And you can see here, indeed, it has broken out. Indeed, they are worn. It's not, you know, perfect. Now, people say, well, what are the other alternatives? Here's another really worn ship, but this is on what they call the top hat and cane mold. So you can see there is more space between the hat and cane mold and the edge of the chip. Can you see that? And so it's protected. Oh, great. So you get these beautiful rounded edges as they break in. Does that make sense? And so you don't have those little those little chips in the side of the, the poker chip. Ooh, that's a big deal. Uh, to me, it is not. There are people who don't like it, and I understand why, right? But to me, that's like criticizing a nuclear submarine because the captain wears goofy socks. It's like, it's a nuclear submarine. If the socks little, you know, a little character, a little patina isn't the end of the world in my book, but everybody's different. You need to be, I'm telling you all this so you can make your own decisions, right? That's why I'm empowering you. That's the goal here. So things to be aware of. The other thing are the large labels. Now I love the large labels. Uh, it gives the, the part of the label that's actually stamped right here. You can see there's some texture to it, which gives it a, a really beautiful linen like finish to it which to me adds tons of character. I love this finish. Even with casino chips, let's uh, roll in a 1998 Bellagio. These are obsolete. They no longer use these chips at the Bellagio. Let's look at this Bellagio chip. Same thing, a large inlay. This is actually a house mold, so it actually says Bellagio around the edges. But look at this beautiful linen finish. It looks like a linen finish, but it's just the inlay, a large oversized inlay absolutely lovely love that look and again some people don't like the large labels in this case i really like them and there's a huge different variety of different labels but the textured ones like these i absolutely love so we go back to design no edge spots the fan of cards don't mistake in this for other cheaper sets because this is the spade royal flush you can see clearly paulson and if you find a set and you're looking for micro stakes, absolutely. I would highly, highly recommend these. Uh, you can see the denominations pretty clear. Uh, some things about design, they're mimicking a normal set, right? With a $5 being red, but instead of $5, it's five cent. And then they move you know, to the green $25, but instead of dollars, it's cents. 50 cent, like, kind of like a black 100. These are gray. So, and like a purple 500 is pretty common, but this is indeed a $5. So denominations on here, is that gonna affect you? Maybe if you're in the Eurozone, Asia, various other places. So 
micro stakes. Uh, I'm not, this isn't my favorite design in the world as far as like the graphics go. A fan of cards isn't, doesn't excite me, but the texture and feel and quality of the chips are what really stand out. And it's a micro stake set, kind of hard to find some really high end, high quality micro stake set. And there are going to be some people who say that is kind of counterintuitive. Why would you spend a lot of money for a micro stake set? I get it. But for, for what it is, it's, it's amazing. I love it. Maybe it's because of that kind of <laughs> um, oddity in the marketplace of being a premium micro stake set. That's why maybe I find it so interesting. Uh, other than that, we talk about competitive options. Nothing is going to really compete with this as far as current manufactured chips. Yes, you might be able to get some custom chips, but as far as stock poker chips go, these were kind of the premium micro stakes cash set. And that's what it is. Definitely look for these. Uh, I'm interested to hear your thoughts about these. It's kind of polarizing. It's kind of a love-hate thing. Uh, in my case, I say that, you know, I say it like an idiot. I say that, but I'm not love-hate this. You know, I, I like them, but the graphics are just kind of meh. And so they're kind of in that mediocre. Eh, they're, they're pretty cool. But I love the feel of the chip. I love this large inlay. I love Paulson's. I love the solid colors. I love the color choice. The big, bold colors uh, just work for me. So... For what it's worth, for anybody out there who's interested in some fun micro stakes chips, see if you can find some of these on the second mark, secondhand market, or maybe Apache Poker Chips will have some left over. Thank you so much for watching. My name is John Hobby.